cramping out on the race course happens. Unfortunately, at this point, I think every obstacle course racer has been through it at least one point or another. Cramping occurs with the perfect combination of heat and humidity, an electrolyte imbalance, whether it's through sweat loss, dehydration, or improper electrolyte replacement. But then it also occurs when you ask your body to work in such extreme ranges of motion at high volume when it's really not trained for it. We often see this whenever we go to, say, climb the death march and Spartan decides to put an eight foot wall right up at the top. We're already asking our calves to do so much work as we climb, then we're not giving them the break they need before we ask them to work 10 times harder to jump to get us over the wall. As soon as we go to jump, our calves seize up because again, they're not getting the break they need. They're not getting stretched out enough to be able to generate the power needed to jump. So they just keep firing. Luckily, there is a way to train for cramp prevention. Today, we are going over the rebounder exercise. Now with the rebounder exercise, we are going to be focusing on physically jumping over that wall and keeping our body in that extreme plantar flexion that you jump with. So we are going to be staying on the ball of our foot and jumping from a flat foot to the ball of our foot, trying to get as high as we can in as fast of repetitions as possible. So we can work in sets of 25, 50, all the way up to 100. Again, you are going to stand, I prefer to stand against a wall with a spot to aim for, maybe a line on the wall or a clock, really trying to tap the same spot or getting higher each and every time. So. Stand up against that wall, have your hands up as high as possible, and you are jumping as quickly as you can in that extreme plantar flexion. And there you have it, the rebounder exercise. My name is Maggie BATC. I'm the OCR trainer. I'll catch you on the course.